Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Introduction to Hydrogen Energy The Need for Decarbonization Welcome to another episode on the RenewEnergy.com YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into another hydrogen topic. Did you know that over a third of the UK's carbon emissions are generated by domestic homes? Yes, you heard that right. Households are significant contributors to the nation's carbon footprint. Specifically, 83% of domestic homes in the UK rely on natural gas for heating and cooking, making them a primary source of carbon emissions. Hydrogen's role in achieving net zero emissions. What if one were to discover a new method to dramatically reduce these emissions without compromising the comforts of home heating or cooking? Enter hydrogen, a clean, sustainable fuel that produces zero carbon emissions at the point of use. It's not a futuristic idea, it's a viable solution being actively researched and tested today. Hydrogen has the potential to revolutionize the way people power their homes, drive their cars, and so much more, all while aiding the UK's commitment to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Stay tuned as we explore the ins and outs of hydrogen energy, the challenges faced, and the pioneering work being done to make hydrogen the fuel of the future. This is the first in a series dedicated to understanding hydrogen's role in a sustainable future, and you won't want to miss it. The Technical Feasibility of Hydrogen Energy The H21 Program Many of you might be wondering, how far along are we really when it comes to hydrogen as an energy source? That's where the H21 program comes into play. Funded by Ofgem and led by Northern Gas Networks in collaboration with several partners, the H21 program is working to make hydrogen energy not just a possibility, but a reality. Their research focuses on the many challenges associated with converting the UK's existing natural gas network to a 100% hydrogen-based system. Hydrogen Trials, the evidence we have let's delve into some of the exciting work that has been completed. For instance, phase one is complete, and phase two is nearly finished. What's more, rigorous tests were conducted on a purpose-built microgrid at Spade at M, which is believed to be a world first. The microgrid simulated a typical UK distribution network to review, test, and make recommendations for operating a network solely on hydrogen. But what about the often discussed challenge of hydrogen's small molecular size, which raises questions about the feasibility of using existing gas pipelines? The H21 program has made strides in this area as well. Specialized materials and sealing technologies have been tested to ensure that hydrogen can be contained effectively, thereby alleviating concerns about leakage. This has made it possible to use the existing natural gas infrastructure, which is a significant advantage when considering the economics of a wide-scale transition to hydrogen. And that's not all. Further trials on a disconnected, disused section of the gas network in the South Bank area of Middlesbrough were successfully completed. For the first time, hydrogen was odorized to smell like natural gas, making it easier for consumers to adopt without a drastic change in their daily lives. The economics, a viable option. Of course, all of this would mean little if it wasn't economically feasible. Good news, according to the Leeds City Gate report, it is indeed possible to convert the UK's gas distribution networks from natural gas to 100% hydrogen at an acceptable cost to consumers. For those interested in diving deeper into the technicalities and findings of this initiative, the link to H21's official website is provided in the video description below. So, the feasibility is there, both technically and economically. What remains are the challenges to be overcome and the policies to be put in place, which we will explore in the following episodes of this series on the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. A note for skeptics. We understand that this is a subject of debate and that opinions may vary on the feasibility of converting natural gas pipelines to hydrogen-based systems. It's a complex issue with many facets, from safety to the longevity of the existing infrastructure. We welcome diverse perspectives and invite you to join the conversation. Let's explore discuss, and dissect these challenges together, because the end goal is the same for all of us, a sustainable, carbon-neutral future. 3. Challenges and Solutions Safety Concerns First and foremost, there are safety concerns surrounding hydrogen use. Hydrogen is flammable and requires careful handling and storage. Many wonder if it can be safely integrated into existing infrastructure or if new safety measures will be needed. Rest assured, organizations such as the Health and Safety Executive are actively involved in research projects like H21 to ensure hydrogen can be used safely in domestic settings. Infrastructure Challenges Another hurdle is the existing natural gas infrastructure. It's one thing to propose hydrogen as a fuel, it's another to actually make it work with current systems. 
The question arises, can the existing network handle the switch to hydrogen without requiring a complete overhaul? According to studies, the answer is a cautious yes, but research is ongoing. Economic Viability We've discussed the Leeds CityGate report, which indicates that hydrogen conversion is economically feasible. However, it's worth noting that an economic transition involves not just cost, but also job creation and market stability. The government's Energy White Paper and the Climate Change Committee's sixth carbon budget have both committed to a role for hydrogen, recognizing its potential for creating jobs in an emerging green economy. Policy and Regulation Last but not least, there are challenges at the level of policy and regulation. Boris Johnson's 10-point plan included a commitment to hydrogen production. The objective is to heat a neighborhood with hydrogen gas by 2023 and an entire town by the end of the decade. This shows commitment at a government level, but the path to regulation that encourages mass adoption of hydrogen is complex and still in the works. What's next? Overcoming these challenges will require concerted effort from government bodies, research organizations, and industry players. It's a complex puzzle, but the pieces are beginning to fit together. Advancements in Hydrogen Technology Electrolysis, a path to green hydrogen. If you're excited about hydrogen energy but are concerned about its environmental impact, here's some good news. Green hydrogen produced through electrolysis is increasingly becoming more efficient and cost-effective. By using renewable energy sources like solar or wind power, water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen in a carbon-neutral process. This is an important step toward making hydrogen a truly green energy solution. Energy density and storage. One of the key challenges with hydrogen has been its low energy density by volume, making storage a major issue. However, technological breakthroughs in compressed hydrogen and liquid hydrogen storage solutions are starting to address this issue effectively. These innovations are crucial for making hydrogen a practical choice for powering vehicles and homes. Fuel cell technology. You might have heard about fuel cells, which directly convert hydrogen into electricity. This technology is not just for laboratories and science fiction anymore, it's now being used in real-world applications, from cars to even larger-scale energy storage. The efficiency and reliability of fuel cells have improved dramatically in recent years, making them a viable option for a range of uses. Utilizing existing infrastructure The idea of converting the existing natural gas network for hydrogen use is not just a theory but is becoming a reality. The H21 program's multiple projects have shown that existing pipelines can be repurposed for hydrogen, eliminating the need for massive infrastructure investments. This is key for a smooth transition and for speeding up hydrogen adoption. Future Prospects With all these advancements, hydrogen is moving from a potential energy source to a very real solution for a variety of applications. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. As research continues, we can expect even more groundbreaking developments that will solidify hydrogen's role in a sustainable energy future. H21, Phase 1 and Phase 2, Key Achievements and Learnings One of the initial milestones reached during the first phase of H21 was the Leeds City Gate Report, which set the stage by showing both the technical and economic feasibility of converting the UK's existing natural gas network to hydrogen. This pivotal study provided a foundation upon which subsequent work could be built. In addition to the groundbreaking report, one of the great strengths of H21 has been its partnerships. The project brought together a host of different organizations, ranging from Cadent Gas and National Grid to academic institutions like Leeds Beckett University and governmental bodies like the Health and Safety Executive. This multifaceted collaboration enabled the project to draw on a wide range of expertise, making it truly interdisciplinary in nature. Policy influence has been another significant achievement. The research and data gathered by H21 played a role in shaping Boris Johnson's 10-point plan, positioning hydrogen as a key component in the UK government's strategy for reaching net zero emissions by 2050. Finally, the first two phases also saw real-world trials of hydrogen gas, notably in the South Bank area of Middlesbrough. Here, a section of a disused gas network was used to rigorously test operations and maintenance activities under 100% hydrogen conditions. This provided invaluable insights into how a hydrogen gas network would operate in the real world. The Spade at M Microgrid A standout accomplishment during these phases was the Spade at M Microgrid, which served as the world's first hydrogen testing ground. The microgrid was specifically designed to mirror a typical UK distribution network, offering a controlled environment for realistic testing scenarios. At Spade at M, experiments provided crucial learnings about operational and maintenance procedures for a 100% hydrogen-based network. For the first time, 
hydrogen was also odorized with the same smell as natural gas, marking an important advancement in safety protocols. The data and experience gathered at Spade at AM have led to a set of recommendations that will likely influence future hydrogen regulations and standards. Future of Hydrogen Energy, Scaling and Next Steps Scaling and Next Steps The journey of hydrogen from a novel idea to an integral part of the UK's green energy portfolio is far from complete. While projects like H21 have shown promising results, scaling these trials to nationwide implementation presents a new set of challenges. To truly capitalize on hydrogen's potential, both the public and private sectors must work in tandem. Governmental bodies can provide subsidies and incentives to encourage hydrogen production, distribution, and consumption. They also need to implement regulatory frameworks that are conducive to hydrogen infrastructure. Meanwhile, the private sector has the onus of innovating technology and bringing down the costs of hydrogen production and storage. By collaborating effectively, these different sectors can expedite the mainstream adoption of hydrogen as a clean energy source. Public awareness and acceptance. Equally important to technological progress is the public's perception of hydrogen energy. Public awareness and acceptance are pivotal for large-scale implementation. Education becomes the linchpin in this context. People need to understand the safety measures, the environmental benefits, and the economic implications of adopting hydrogen. There have been several surveys and studies indicating that the public's knowledge and perception of hydrogen energy vary widely. Some may see it as a potentially dangerous gas, while others view it as the future of clean energy. This highlights the need for targeted educational campaigns that not only inform but also dispel myths and misconceptions surrounding hydrogen. By cultivating a well-informed populace, we not only gain advocates for hydrogen energy but also potential consumers, creating a favorable environment for large-scale implementation. Conclusion As we navigate the monumental task of transitioning to a sustainable, carbon-neutral future, hydrogen stands out as a promising candidate that could revolutionize the way we think about energy. With projects like H21 leading the way, we've witnessed the technical and economic viability of integrating hydrogen into our existing infrastructure. For those deeply interested in the advancements and details of this revolutionary project, you can learn more at H21's official website. Whichever route is taken to net zero carbon home heating, there will be cost implications, particularly in the short term. Yet, a hydrogen gas network could offer the most cost-effective solution for the majority of homes currently connected to the gas network. Presently, hydrogen boilers cost slightly more than natural gas boilers. However, mass production and increasing demand could soon make them as affordable as today's gas boilers. Major corporations, like BP, are investing in hydrogen production, signaling its future viability. The road ahead is far from straightforward, it requires concerted efforts from the government, private sector, and the public. From policy reforms and technological advancements to public education and acceptance, each element plays a critical role in this complex puzzle. The UK is at a crossroads, with an opportunity to serve as a global leader in hydrogen adoption, setting an example for the rest of the world to follow. As we look to the future, one thing is clear, hydrogen energy is not just an alternative, it's an imperative. It offers a solution to some of our most pressing challenges, from climate change to energy security. With continued investment, collaboration, and public engagement, the transition to a hydrogen economy can go from a scientific possibility to an everyday reality. By understanding the milestones reached, the challenges faced, and the potential for large-scale adoption, we come to see hydrogen not just as a gas, but as the fuel of the future, a future that is cleaner, greener, and more sustainable for all. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.